Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lovers, this is Clémence, I talk about fragrance and welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we talk about date night fragrance for ladies. Only designer today, let's go. This has been one of my top favorite and I think a very underrated fragrance. This is Cartier La Panthère. This is such a beautiful bottle. Let's face it, how gorgeous this is. It's exactly like the brand. Cartier is a jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. I never know how to say that. It feels like very chic, sophisticated, elegant. That's the vibe of it, but plus plus. It's very fruity. You have an opening that is strawberry rhubarb like. So it's not juicy. It's like an opulent fruit that gives thickness to the fragrance. I'm not usually a big fan of strawberry, but the rhubarb note really gives something very different. And as rhubarb is a bit of a forgotten uh, plants. Uh, this is really something that gives something a little bit retro chic. Extremely long lasting. This one never disappoints. It's very warm in the dry down and has a little bit of something mossy. That's why it feels a bit retro. And basically in the middle you have some gardenia flower which is a very vivid joyful uh, white flower for an evening. It's amazing. And I would definitely use that for spring because of this plant um, strawberry vibe. It, something happy is where is it Prada la femme intense so any date list that I've done for designer I always always included la femme intense not because I want you to get bored but because this is for me the best one I've ever had for date night so easy to wear exactly like l'homme from Prada this is a fragrance that everybody can enjoy uh, La Femme Intense, I prefer it because it has more sexy mood than La Femme Classic. What I love especially is that between something warm and something cold, the patchouli that is very present, heavy in the background, and tuberose and jasmine that are really pushing the fragrance to be very creamy. And you have something sunny. And this is from Japanese flower, Ylang Ylang. Those yellow flowers really bring something that is make you think of summer slightly and I love this touch of exotism in the fragrance piece it's office friendly it's everything friendly this fragrance so really for me that's the base fragrance for date night matching my top today it's amazing Great. okay next one we're going to a little bit of a younger vibe and more fun vibe with I want you forever Jimmy Choo nothing pretentious it's not for snobs because it's a very <laughs> easy rich fragrance it's easy to wear and it's not complicated this is the kind of fragrance that you wear like this fun joyful bubbly but party mood like you want to dance with a fragrance like that it's bitter almond cherry note so it feels very creamy as well it's definitely not something that smells natural for example comp compared to Cartier La Panthère that feels a bit more natural this smells a bit more artificial but what to say I think it works and I think I really like that vanilla is blending with cherry a little bit of rose as well so it feels super feminine and I feel it's definitely something a little bit of a bubbly personality with a sexy mood too the Jimmy Choo it's sometimes a bit boring but this I think that they took a stand and it was made by Sonia Constant and I think everything that she does is amazing going to high luxurious designer this is La Perla Possibilities. So this one, you need to have a budget for this fragrance. Price range is flying on top of the moon. But if you're ready to have a scent that feels very sensual, luscious, amazing, rosy, blackcurrant smell. And I'm not a fan of rosy fragrance, the rosy fragrance for women, blah, blah, blah. blah. But this is gorgeous. Um, you know, there's a, something with the black currant that feels slightly syrup, cashmere like. It feels like you're you're wearing a satin dress and you're going on your date like this. You can't reach her like this. She's she's bougie. She's bougie. Voilà. It's a very smart fragrance as well. I definitely think that this is for the occasion when you're gonna meet. Uh, for a smart event or a, a cocktail event or if you are gonna meet someone that probably is gonna wear a suit a smart type of guy not a young one maybe more mature that is bad how about a summer date this one i particularly enjoy for summer dating and this is a gabrielle essence this is something that is also classic this is something i found myself last year to wear when i was going to the beach um, not exposing to the sun, don't do that, or spray on the clothes if you're going 
to the sun, but you know what I mean? Gabrielle Essence is not the Gabrielle classic compared to the, cl the classic one. This one has an overdose of tuberose. And tuberose is the most fragrant flower in the world. It's opulent and it's very creamy. You miss that with Ylang Ylang, Ylang Ylang, that yellow floral always gives something a little bit sunny to your fragrance. You can feel at the start that there's something a little bit citrusy. It's very bright, basically. It's a bright fragrance. Definitely, if you have been disappointed by the longevity of Gabrielle Classic because I have been disappointed by the longevity of Gabrielle Classic and usually I'm not really regarding on those things but Gabrielle Classic longevity is zero to me this much better and I work for Chanel when we launched this fragrance for example I don't do anymore but when we launched this fragrance with the official note was technically overdose of patch uh, overdose of tuberose uh, we mentioned maybe some citrus but really we focus on this floral aspect of the tuberose. Definitely no coconut, but it is true, and you can see on Fragrantica that there's a the tuberose is so creamy that it gives you a little bit of a coconutty vibe. So this is definitely not really in the fragrance, and it's more like a note that we feel, and I do feel it too, it's true. I feel a bit that exotism in there. I think it's amazing for summer days. Next one is the queen for me of the dating game. And I have to talk about L'Interdit Rouge by Givenchy. This is for the van style in you. This is for the charismatic lady with an aura around her. She entered the room, doesn't have to talk. Everybody is watching her. Go to younger audience, to mature women too. This is really something that is also versatile. But really what I love is this opening that feels very juicy, ginger, to give something a little bit electric to the fragrance and blood orange. What makes this fragrance very original is the pimento leaf that raises it a little bit, the fragrance, and literally gives a little bit of a spiciness in your life. I love this tuberous fragrance. It's also very creamy, very intense. So it's a fragrance that you would love to wear during autumn because you know this van style is really nice during autumn. Um, so yeah, love that. So we didn't talk about a proper, proper classic, something that is absolutely timeless, maybe for a mature audience, but I'm, one of my best friends actually wears that as a signature scent and she's much younger than me. So, you know, like you never know. And she's wearing that so beautifully. This is Shalimar. This fragrance is complex, exactly like we used to do before. So, you know, now the trend on modern fragrance is to make it simple and treat it beautifully, naturally, one ingredient to another. So, uh, more technology, so we don't mix much the ingredient like this, but it makes our fragrance much more linear and much more simple, which is... I do like it, I don't mind it, but Shalimar is an old-fashioned fragrance, so it's very complex, profusion of different ingredients, you have a lot of citruses, amber notes, incense that encapsulate the fragrance, that give something a little bit bewitching to it, a bit of leather, and this is very characteristic to old-fashioned fragrance, you have a little bit of civet, for example, uh, which I don't think is present anymore in the newest version uh, because this is not something that is allowed by the law. You have this animal note uh, recreated artificially in the designer range but because it's not so popular at the moment uh, in design uh, at least uh, I don't think you smell it that much but it gives a little bit of a lavery aspect to the fragrance. So it's intoxicating, it's alluring and compared to the other one this is the bewitching one. She's charming, it's very timeless and it's been loved by many famous names in uh, the game. So for me, with a fragrance like that, you always need a classic in your collection. Whether you go for Hypnotic Poison by Dior, for example, uh, or you go for Shalimar, or you go for um, Number 5, you always need a classic, a timeless one in your collection. And this is for me the one. And Shalimar, compared to all those timeless, is divine. It's sexy. There's a lot of fragrance I could have talked about. If you want a more casual day, Narciso Rodriguez for her. Black Orchid by Tom Ford. If you want something a bit more edgy, si passionné, we could have talked about La Belle, Scandale Le Parfum, Cristal Noir by Versace, Juicy Couture, the cheap one, but Juicy Couture, why not? Jazz Club, Maison, uh, Maison Margiela, if you want something a little bit more unisex. 
uh, Tom Ford Jasmin Rouge that I absolutely love too. Let me know about the fragrance that you would have chosen as well as designer, the one you're wearing, the one that you can trust if you're going dating. And dating doesn't mean with different men, huh? basically. You can go just dating um, your, your husband or dating uh, your boyfriend like I do uh, with Edwin, you know. Um, where did I hear that? Where did I hear that? Someone told me as long as you continuing dating uh, your partner, then um, it's gonna last for a long time. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Those people uh, who are uh, commenting, I thank you so, so much because it's always nice to read you and it shows a little bit of support, which I always appreciated. I wanna thank the people also that super thanks me. Uh, this money helps me to buy new material, new project that I'm gonna be launching the channel. I hope this year, finger crossed. This is helping me to get uh, content, uh, samples, to do reviews too. So I thank you so much for this and thank you so much guys. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye now. And a special thanks for Max Clark for a super thanks of $9.99. Thank you so much.